All right, in this video, we will be discussing some wireless monitoring tools that you can use on your Microsoft device just to see what's going on on the network on a wireless level. Let's get into the video. Alrighty, so let's talk about some of the monitoring tools that we can use on the wireless network of a Microtik. Um, unlike most tools that you can access via the tools menu, these tools you'll be accessing through the wireless menu itself. Now you've already seen me talk about stuff like the registration table, but let's just quickly go over it briefly because the registration table is amazing. It lets you see which devices are currently connected to you as an access point, or if you're a client, which access points you are currently connected to. It gives us a way of seeing what the radio name is, MAC address, the interface we're connecting over. So maybe if you had dual band, you might have a WLAN 1 or WLAN 2. So you could connect with either one to different access points and see uh, where you're connecting to, what your uptime is. Uh, is the remote device an access point or not? Because currently I'm on the client and what I'm connected to is an access point. And we can see, does it do WDS, uh, last activity? We can see stuff like the signal strength, as well as our rate limits, how much bandwidth we're getting currently across the link. So the registration table is nice because it will have an entry for each and every client or access point that you connect to. Okay, now I'd like us to look at all of the different tools. So if I go to my wireless interfaces, most of the tools you can actually access uh, in these little buttons that you can just click. But what I like to do is I like to double click on the WLAN interface itself. And then on the right hand side, we can actually see all of the tools as well. And these tools are phenomenal to use. I mean, you've seen me use the scan tool and scan is so useful because it allows you to pick up an SSID that you want to connect to. And you can just select that SSID and then it's as quick as clicking on connect. And then you're going to connect to that SSID. I mean, I love the scanner. It's a great way to quickly find the SSID that you're wanting to connect to. Um, if the SSID is not being broadcasted, then the scanner won't pick it up. Uh, we also get stuff like a frequency usage, although I'm, I'm not too familiar with what we're doing inside the frequency usage, but I'd like to show you the snooper because this is where stuff gets a bit crazy, where it gets a bit hectic. So if I click on the snooper and I start a snoop, what is this doing? So in essence, what a snooper is doing, just like the scan, it's able to pick up the SSID, but it's also picking up exactly which channel those devices are connecting in, uh, what their MAC addresses are. Uh, we can see their signals, but what's crazy for me is we can even pick up how many stations there are, how many networks there are, and how much bandwidth is being pushed over these radio signals. And most of these signals have nothing to do with me. These are just people in my immediate area that have their own access points and I can kind of see what they're doing on their network as well. I'm snooping. Now this actually makes me feel a bit like a hacker because I'm able to see exactly what's going on in the wireless sphere around me. Uh, and this is why we need to talk about this stuff because if I can use this tool and I can see all of these different devices, that means anybody else can do it as well. And this is why we do want to implement stuff like uh, wireless access list to enforce who can actually connect to our access points and why we want to set up stuff like wireless encryption with WPA so that not anybody can just connect to our access point because this is fairly easy for me to see which devices there are, what their MAC addresses are, which channels they connect over, and then I can try and figure out how to best um, get in there and please try and defend yourself. But the snoop, snooper is really interesting. It's really cool to see what's happening around you. So that is actually going to cover up the wireless monitoring tools that we can use. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.